good day guys especially to you ma'am um, our <coughs> Mansi structure uh, Hiji Amarba so in this video we are going to present to you the uh, RC code uh, first uh, let me introduce to you my members Makano Justin Kyle Lulu Almudin and also me Michael Lagunda <coughs> so um, here are the desired outcomes table of, table of contents introduction vision and mission uh, core values uh, what is REC code all about and its definition history of REC code uh, what is the use in our society statements of the problem uh, conjectures verifying conjectures and all summary and last but not the least is the references so cracking REC code in the world of most important code what is RSA all about? Uh, RSA is RSC code is, is the basis of all important data transfer encrypted that data needs to be sent between two parties such as banking, data secure or communications relies on the techniques of RSA code. Uh, cryptography relies on um, numerous mathematical techniques from number theory uh, which until the 1950s was true uh, to be a largely theoretical pursuit with few practical applications. Today, I say code is absolutely essential to um, keeping digital communications safe. So, uh, how are this encryption works? In order to be able to make online purchases um, securely, uh, you need to be able to encrypt your credit cards um, details before transmitting them over the internet um, so that <coughs> only the authorized recipients can access these details. My name is Amudin Tilulu from BS Ed Mathematics. For this video, I'm going to discuss about the history in RSA code. And there are three mathematicians in RSA code. So let me show you. The RSA encryption is a public key based crypto system named after Ron Libes, Adi Shamir, and Len Edelman who invented it in 1977. Ronald Lynn Ribes was born May 6, 1947. He is a cartographer and is institution's professor of MITs. He is a member of MIT's Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science and a member of MIT's Computer Science Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. His work has spanned the fields of algorithms and combinatorics, psychography, machines learning, and elections integrity. Adi Shamil was born in July 6, 1952. Adi Shamil is an Israeli cartographer, one of the inventors of differential cryptanalysis and has made numerous contributions to the fields of cryptography and computer science. Last is Adelman. The Adelman received a bachelor's degree in 1968 in mathematics and a decorate in 1976 in computer science from the University of California, Berkeley, where his thesis advisor was Manuel Bloom, the 1995 Turning Award winner. And that the three mathematician named RSA codes. Clifford Cock had previously invented an equivalent system for the British GCHQ back in 1973. This project renamed Secret until 1977. The RSA crypto system is the most widely used public key cryptography algorithm in the world. You can use it to encrypt a message without the need to exchange a secret separately. Its algorithm can be used for both public key encryptions and digital signatures. Its security is based on the difficulty of solving certain mathematical problems such as factoring loss integers. So in the next video, Magnahoy or Justin Magnahoy will explore more about the history and he will explain what is the connections of the RSE code in the society. So let's watch. Good day to each and everyone. So my name is Justin Calvin Maganoy and today I will discuss in you use of RSA code or the RSA encryptions in our society. The RSA encryption or the RSA code plays an important role that is used to defense banking and internet transactions. Since 
uh, we are use more on technologies. The RSA uh, encryptions helps people in securing bank accounts and other internet transactions. Encryption plays a crucial role in the day-to-day -day functioning of our society. For example, millions of people make purchase on the internet every day. Each time you submit your credit card details online, there is a risk that this information may be stolen. So how can the information can be sent securely? So a shopper's credit details need to be encrypted before they are transmitted over the internet. And so the method of encryption needs to be made public. But the only method of decryption should be known only in the bank that is processing the payment. So in addition, the role of the RSA code or the RSA encryption in our society for nowadays, it is very important because we are in Generation Z. So technologies exist, uh, we're buying products in online using internets in easiest way. So the RSA encryption helps us people so that it will be easily to um, purchase things and so that to secure our um, accounts. So as we can see, um, we are using apps such as the Gcash Paymaya and other apps that secures our savings. And surely those apps uh, uses um, RSA code to secure our money. So for our statement of the problem, RSA algorithm is an asymmetric cryptography algorithm which means there should be two keys, the public key and the private key, for keeping digital communication safe. We investigate the relationship between the encryptions and the decryptions. So in these pictures, I'm gonna explain more about the relationship between the encryption and the decryptions. So like for the example in this picture, in that pictures, so John's and Mary's. So John's get the keys, the public keys for Mary. So like for example, he will send I love you to Mary's and and John's will send to Mary's to the through the internet he will he will send to Mary's. So Mary's will receive and it it calls the private keys. So it because it's private keys because Mary's only knows what John sent to him. So for the next video, Michael Abunan will explore more about and explain more about and so more about about our estimate of the problem. So next is conjectures. A first look of RSA, how to encrypt and decrypt. We first should we first draw um, the steps of producing the necessary numbers of encryption and decryption in RSA. We will um, then draw a simple sample of understand how to process processes of encryption and decryption are implemented. At this stage, we make no attempts to explain why it works. We will uh, first need uh, need a little bit of numbers theory setting. So first step one is choose two prime numbers p and q. So example is p equals to three and q equals to eleven. So step two is let n equals p times x. Example is n equals three times eleven equals thirty three. Step D, uh, let A, P minus 1, um, P minus 1, um, P minus 1, Q minus 1. So example is, uh, A equals 2 times 10 equals 20. So step 4, uh, choose an integer with the integer a with uh, 1 less than e less than a such that uh, e and a have no common factors other other than one example dito is um, choose e equals 7 so step 5 find the integer with d uh, great 
d less than d less than a such that uh, d times e minus 1 is a multiple some uh, is a multiple of a so example is as 3 times 7 minus 1 equals 20 so we have d equals 3 so the, the numbers n and e are the public key that they can share with anyone the numbers and d is the private key it must be keep um, answer how do we use it Mary wants to be able to receive a secret message from John she sends him the value of n and e it, it doesn't matter if this message is intercepted the values of n and e can be made public only Mary knows the value of d suppose the message is I love you for simplicity, we suppose that the letters I, L, O, V, E, Y, O, Y, O, and U were assigned the numbers 8, 11, 14, 21, 5, 24, 14, and 20, respectively. So, for all of the ciphers in use before RSA, the method of encryption and de decryption we're known to both the sender and the receiver of the message. With RSA, the instructions for how to encrypt a message can be made public without compromising the security of the method of decryption. This was the big breakthrough that came with RSA encryption. So we start with a discussion to every method of encryption. The Caesar cipher, which is thought to have been used by Julius Caesar. For example, if we choose a key of 1, then a letter A is concealed as B. The letter B is concealed as C, and so on and so forth. We view the alphabet as a loop. So, with a key 1, the letter Z is concealed with as A. So number the letters of the alphabet in orders from 0 to 25. Then, using the key 1 means that we encrypt each letter by adding 1. If we use the Caesar with key 22, then we encrypt each letter by adding 22. For example, which Q has number 16 based on the table. We add 22 to obtain 38. But we want a number between 0 and 25 inclusive. Since 28 subtracted to 26 will be given as 12. The number 38 identifies the same place in the alphabet as the number 12. Which is M. So we encrypt Q as M. The following table shows this for every letter of the alphabet. We can also represent the Caesar cipher with key 22 using two concentric wheels. As shown in the following diagram, the inner wheel can be spin around for other keys. So, I made my own example for this topic so that you can easily to understand on how to encrypt and decrypt a message before RSA code or RSA encryption. The following message has been encrypted using this method which is the Caesar cipher with key 22. So the code is E H K R A U K and Q. So we need to this we need to decrypt this code to get original message. So the solution, each letter has been encrypted by adding 22. So we decrypt by subtracting 22. With the following code that was given, so the first letter is letter E. E is numbered 4. So we need to subtract 22 to obtain negative 18. Since negative 18 plus 26, the 26 here is based from the total number of the alphabet, is equivalent to 8. So the number 
negative 18 identifies the same place in the alphabet as the number 8, which is letter I. So next is letter H. H is numbered 11. Subtract it into 22 to obtain negative 15. Since negative 15 add to 26 is equivalent to 11, the number negative 15 identifies the same place in the alphabet as the number 11, which, which is letter L. From the third letter from the code that was given, so it is letter K. K is number 10. You, could, you will subtract it into 22 to obtain negative 12. Since negative 12 plus 26 is equivalent to 14, the number negative 12 identifies the same place in the alphabet as the number 14, which is equivalent to O. Next is letter R. R is equivalent to 17. And 17 subtracted to 22 is equivalent to negative 5. Since negative 5 plus 26 is equivalent to 21, the number negative 5 identifies the same place in the alphabet as the number 21, which is letter V. So next is A is equivalent to 0 based on the table. And 0 subtracted to 22 is equivalent to negative 22. Since negative 22 plus 26 is equivalent to 4, the number negative 22 identifies the same place in the alphabet as the number 4, which is letter E that is based from the table. So next is U, the same procedure. Uh, 20 minus 22 is equivalent to negative 2. Negative 2 plus 26 is equivalent to 24. Then, the number negative 2 identifies the same place in the alphabet as number 24, which is letter Y. So, next is K is equivalent to 10. 10 subtracted to 22, and it will give us negative 12. Since negative 12 plus 26 is equivalent to 14, then the number negative 12 identifies in the alphabet as the number 14, which is O. The last letter on the code that was given on this problem is letter Q. So Q is equivalent to 16. 16 subtracted to 22 is equivalent to negative 6. Then since negative 6 plus 26 is equivalent to 20, then the number negative 6 identifies in the alphabet as the number 20, which is letter U. So we obtained the original message is I love you. Hence, we decrypt the problem completely and get the code I love you. So, in summary, REC code this message are encrypted with a code called a public key with, uh, which can be shared openly due to some distinct mathematical, mathematical properties of the REC algorithm. Once a message has been encrypted with the public key, it can be it can be decrypt it can be decrypted um, by another key known as the private key. So um, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something with me and also to my members. So that's all. Thank you.